In this video, we will look at working with these complex numbers by adding and subtracting expressions with i in them. The wonderful thing about i is, in general, it works just like any other variable. So, for example, if I had a problem like this, just as we would before, we can combine like terms. 5 and 6 are both constants, and adding them together, we get 11. The negative 3i plus i would give us negative 2i, and just as we combine like terms before, we can combine like terms in the complex numbers to get 11 minus 2i. The same pattern can apply when we're subtracting complex numbers. We do have one extra step that we need to be aware of, because now we have a negative in front of the parentheses. Just as before, when we had a negative in front of parentheses, we would want to distribute that negative onto each term. When we do that, we now have negative 5 minus 2i, then minus 3, plus negative times a negative, 6i. And then from here, we can again combine like terms. Negative 5 and negative 3 is negative 8, and the i's, negative 2i plus 6i, is positive 4i. This problem is now completely simplified. Adding complex numbers is simply combining like terms, just like we have always done before.